he says in verse 7, And as you go, I want you to preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. The gospel of the kingdom, the good news of the kingdom. Our redemption, our reconciliation to Father. And the divine covenant that places us in the place of power over all the power of the enemy. Amen? And nothing shall by any means harm you. As citizens of the kingdom, as we're reaching out in violence and taking this kingdom by force, as we're spending the time necessary in prayer and in study and meditation to encounter the divine presence of God, one thing that will be necessitated through that is you're going to step up to your place of power in representing the kingdom of God. And realize that we are then responsible to carry on the ministry that Jesus had. And the scripture tells us God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. Amen? Amen. And that's the call on your life. He anointed him with power to go about doing good and healing all that are oppressed of the devil. What are we saying? This isn't a picnic in, we're at war. God's calling us as we take on that full armor of God to begin to set out against principalities and powers. As we begin to pray in intercession for those lost souls, beloved, they're being held captive by Satan. And it's only through prayer and it's only through obedience as you go in the power of the Holy Ghost. You'll receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you and be witnesses unto me. As we go out in power, in faith believing that when we speak, the Word of God is going to break the fetters off those people's hearts. Amen? No more just hollow words. But our words are alive. We know that we stand there in authority. Satan's no longer the dominant power in this confrontation, like he has been for too long. In opposition to the church. Stop going out hoping people will hear and go out believing they'll hear. 